guys, Sharper Game here, and today I am. Let's just take my mic for a second. Uh, move my keyboard over. Sorry, I probably should have done this for record. I was just so excited to re record this video that I already tried to record. Alright, everyone, I am back, Sharper Game here, and today I am showcasing the Rainbow Screen the machine that me and Teddy have made together. Um to do cool stuff with. I accidentally took a screenshot. Whoops. Uh, all right, so let's turn this baby on. And flip that lever. Dot, dot, dot. So basically, this is a screen that changes colors and you can write your own custom messages. And there will be a brief tutorial at the end for how to make such an awesome machine. So yeah, I'm just resetting the clock. All right, and the machine should be up and running. And sorry guys, if you look around, you can see that my room's a bit of a mess. Sorry about that. I will be cleaning it up for YouTube so I can record more of it. So yeah, this is the screen. Um, so you might notice up there are two blues. I have no idea how that happened. Um, maybe a glitch. It's Honestly, getting on my nerves, but uh, I guess it's the best we can do right now. So, anyways, this is the um, this is what it looks like. It red, um, orange, red, orange, yellow, green. Ah, sorry, red, orange, no, red, orange, yellow, green. I'm gonna try to say all of them. All right, this one, red, orange, yellow, green, purple, blue, no, blue, purple. I don't know. This is all messed up. So, anyways, um, yeah, this is a machine, and I just want to showcase it, but for you, uh, people who want to know how to make this stuff, let's make it, oh, and one thing. Oh, no, look, I'm breaking it, wait, it's coming back? So, yeah, it also keeps regenerating, so if someone were to blow this screen up, it would come back instantly. But that's also, but it could destroy the redstone, which is why I have this invisible block shield around it. So, um, let's grab, yeah, I already have some night vision. And let's come in here. So, um, I just have, let me get my, this block out. So, yeah, now that we're back here, um, let's just get a cinematic view of down here. It's basically the area that does all the, whoops, all the redstone. Uh, sorry guys, I just wanted to send them back So, whoops, all right. So, let's go back to normal, wait, whoops. All right, now I can look around normally. All right, so, and one thing I wanna showcase is um, this little back area thing. Guys, I promise, oh guys, by the way, um. I actually don't know how to make this little area that actually makes objects for you back here. Cause this was a mistake that I made while developing the machine with Teddy. It was actually a glitch that randomly came along and it just worked, so he kept it. Whoops, I, I destroyed part of the machine. <laughs> All right. So guys, anything that happens to these color panels back here actually happens to the thing. Cause we're using a clone command that clones these panels and puts them over there. And you somehow got to glitch out and clone here, either that or a prank a friend that was on while we were developing this pranked us. Um, I'm hoping it was the um, the first one, just because if my friend did that to me, that would be really mean, because this it it really got in the way. So, anyways, uh, yeah, as you can see, I built a little smiley face here. Smiley face shows up here. So that's just because it glitched and made an extra area where I can do that stuff. So let's get rid of that. And as you can see, when it comes back, it's gone. So the thing is, after every red, it destroys what's back there. Just After every red panel, um, what's back here gets destroyed after I've removed it. Um, and that's just because of a glitch. I have no idea how this area just became cursed. Either that or a friend practice. So anyways, um, 
guys, I should probably get into actually how to do the commands after boring you guys. So, let's take a look at this. So as you can see, there are a lot of similar looking numbers here. These are Minecraft coordinates. The things that you get from hitting F3 on your keyboard. So yeah, let me just separate them out using um, using those like bar things. Um, so yeah, as you can see now more clearly, there are four sets of coordinates. And basically, um, let's say this one, this is the bottom corner of that color panel. Um, this is the bottom, like, right, let's just say it's the bottom left corner. It, it can be right or left. And then this has to be the opposite. So in this case, it would be the top right corner. And then, then that basically, oh, you have to do slash clone. And then it sees that area. And then like it knows what those coordinates are. It copies it. And then you need to put down the set of coordinates where you're putting it. So let's, yeah, like, let's say this is, well, let's switch it up a bit this time. Actually, no, they need to be the same sides and the same tops. So if this is bottom left and this is top right, the one that comes first needs to be bottom left corner and the one that comes last needs to be top right corner of the place that you want your structure to be. It's a bit more complicated 3D, but not really. Like, it's basically the same idea, um, and what you need to do is go to, like, one side of the object. Um, it, it's more complicated, so I'm not going to exactly go through it, because I don't understand it that well. Um, Teddy understands it more than me. So, I hope that kind of, like, broke it down for you. If you guys don't know how to get coordinates, I will do a brief instruction, um, on how to get coordinates. So, now the, the machine... I'm actually sure the machine's still working now. Yeah, I basically have a few of that kick. Oh, why do I keep kicking my trash can down there? Um, I have like a fear that messing around with this will eventually shut the machine down, but nothing bad so far, nothing bad so far. So let's go in here and then we hit F3 on the keyboard. For some people it's hold shift F3 and for you laptop users out there, I am sorry, but that feature does not exist um, for you laptop users. I know, I feel your pain, just because the F3 already has a use on the keyboard, so it doesn't work. Even if you hit shift or tab or caps lock or control, it just doesn't work. So unless you attach a separate keyboard to it through USB port, which I'm not really sure is worth it, um, well, I guess it is kind of worth it, but whatever. Anyways, let's just get right into this. Um, I've now hit F3, and people who are used to, okay. Um, I actually need to get a torch, and turn off caps lock. Uh, I need to get a torch, and some milk. So I'm gonna put down this torch on the wall over here. I'm going to get this milk. Now I can see in here, actually. So now, you. Most people usually use these coordinates up here, but you, for this, it's easier to use these coordinates right here, the looking at coordinates. And then you use those to write down, the, like this is the bottom left corner, this is the top right corner, then this is the bottom left corner, top right corner, and you get those coordinates, do slash clone, type in the coordinates, in the correct order and then you got yourself a working color panel as long as you repeat that with different blocks so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i sure enjoyed recording it and i will see you in the next one bye guys